How's everybody doing today? My name is Charlie Pangus and I'm here to bring you another tutorial video. Um, I've been getting a lot of requests for different things and um, I just want you guys to know that I will get to all of them eventually. I've, I'm really busy because I'm in college and all that so um, I just want to thank you for your patience and, uh, and most importantly thank you so much for viewing my videos and subscribing and hitting the thumbs up button. Um, you guys really do mean the world to me and I do this for you. Um, I mean I know schools charge a lot of money to do you know for graphic design schools and all that stuff they charge you so much money and it's like almost impossible to pay back so uh, my whole goal is just to bring you guys free videos to help you out from your your home desk so anyway I just want to get started today I'm gonna to be focusing on a uh, a business poster design um, this design is really simple I'm not trying to get too complicated with it but I just want to show you guys that you can do something really clean in a short amount of time uh, for your own business or maybe for a friend you want to make a poster um, so yeah let's dig right into it since I don't have a lot of time here <laughs> um, so today I have a coffee poster background that I uh, took myself it's a, it's actually a stock image and um, when I say by take myself, I meant I actually purchased this image, so you can actually use it wherever you want to since you own rights to it. And I do recommend you doing that. Don't use something random off the internet because chances are it's someone else owns it. So what we're going to do is we're just going to um, pretty much make a business poster. And this can be for your local coffee shop or whatever your business is called um, obviously you want to stick to the guidelines of what your business does if it's like a marketing business obviously you want to maybe put some people in the background shaking hands or something you know stick to that style um, so to, I'm gonna put it's all about the coffee because it's all about the coffee we all love coffee well at least I do I don't know about you guys and then another thing you need to do is make sure you choose the right font and obviously this isn't the right font but that's what we're getting at. By the way, this video is, um, or this canvas right here is, it's going to be 15 by 20, 300 resolution. Make sure it's 300 resolution because um, you want this to be really high quality. And the poster design probably would be a lot bigger than this, but for the sake of this video, I just chose 15 by 20. That's typically what I do a t-shirt design in. All right, let's get started. So I'm thinking cursive font. I don't know why. I, I'm fill in the cursive vibe let me see here I'm gonna try to make it a little different maybe even a beat baseball fill I have this font that's pretty interesting actually I'm just gonna say all about the coffee how about that um, I'm just using the text tool guys and then the palette up here on the uh, top bar when you use this palette I don't even know what it's called it's a text palette um, you can actually adjust the width, the size. Never adjust the width, though, like the, the height of the font. You don't want to warp the font at all. Um, you, there's other ways to do it more effectively. Um, the only thing you really need to mess with is like the letter spacing and all that, but I, for this video, I'm just going to keep it zero, and then everything else needs to be zeroed out. So there we go. We're going to stick with that. So all about the coffee. Let's do this. I like to uh, sometimes I uh, make different layers, but for this video, I'm just gonna keep it all the on the same layer. It's all about, and we'll probably do the a little differently. Sorry, it took me so long to make a video, guys. Usually, I, I try not to wait that long to make a video. I put all twice, huh? It's early for me, apparently. All about. And I think the, I'm gonna make it kind of fancy. I think I wanna make it fancy. We'll put, we'll, we'll draw some rectangle lines here. And um, if you're confused on what I'm doing already, then you should probably go back and watch my other videos because it's, uh, I go over a lot of these simple tools in my other videos. Um, the we're gonna add some contrast to this so that the is gonna be a smaller it's not to me the is not important um, I don't I feel like I can't talk today guys wow what's going on with me all right anyway 
um, I feel like it's not as important um, to uh, have the big as as big as everything else. So I, I like to make things um, um, smaller, especially when they're not needing to stand out as much. Um, and then what we're going to do is go to warp. All, and all I did to do that, guys, is I just did Command-T on my Mac, and then I did warp. I don't know what it is on PC. I'm sorry. And then I'm doing... I'm going to do like a banner look. Like it's waving in the wind. Why not? And it can actually be even a little smaller than that. And then coffee, I want to make it a nice cursive font. Only capitalizing the C. And this is going to be in a cursive font. And of course it's going to be the biggest because it is... It needs to stand out. It's the most important. It's coffee. So, <clears throat> um, now that I look at it, though, I can do something that's a lot cooler. I can do. I can add a little bit more contrast. All. All about. I'm still going to keep that same font that I used. Um, the reason why I don't really go over my fonts too much, guys, is because I really want you to uh, me mess with your own fonts. I don't want you to copy my fonts because I want you to be creative and I want you to try to do your own thing. And then after this, I'm going to do a warp and I'm just going to add an arc to it. Um, actually, an arch. All about the coffee. We can even make it a little bit smaller than that and add it right there. See? Look at that. Simple. Simple, simple, simple. I like simple. And then we can... Um, I usually, I, I, What I usually do instead of merging these, I'm just being kind of sloppy right now, but what I usually do is create a new folder and add it to that folder. That way they're all in the same folder, all the text. And there you go, guys. That's all you do. You add some text to it, kind of mess with the aligning of it, and you just created yourself a vintage poster for uh, a, a coffee shop or whatever it is. Um, from here, you can do other things, too. Like, if you want to add some contrast to it, you can actually um, duplicate this, merge the group, add a new layer, hold Alt, and then make this layer 1 go into layer uh, or group 1 which is your text layer and what you can do is you can um, you can add some shading to it so if you want to add like maybe a, like a different tone in there somewhere to add some more contrast like I was saying you could do so by simply adding a circle or something and then going to fill and then you can add a color um, that's actually kind of a cool color for this I would I'm probably gonna add a different color though and then what you want to do is after you do that add a stroke on the inside and then you want to add a white because the text is white and then the stroke needs to be a little bit thicker than that. Like about 29 should be all right. I'd probably do a little less than that too. But see, and then what you just did is you added like a different color to it a little bit. See? Pretty cool, right? And it just it adds a little glare to it. Um, gives it some proximity. Uh, or it just makes it stand out a little bit more. Not proximity. Just It just stands out a little more. Um, Especially since the word coffee is more important than everything else, um, it's pretty important to make that stand out more in any shape or form you can. I would I would definitely recommend messing with it more though, more than I am, because I'm I mean I'm not really that creative right now as far as this poster goes. But again, I feel like simple sells, so I think that um, there there could be a lot more you can do to this. Um, like for instance, I can add a border if I wanted to. This is a really uh, uneven border, <laughs> but you just so you guys can get the idea. And then what I would do is I would make it, um, I would make the border, or I'd make it make it black, and then I would add a stroke on the inside of let's say ten. I don't want it to be really big.
Actually, probably 20. Let's do 20. That's fine. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the circle tool and what I'm going to do is erase the sides of it just by going to the edges here with the ellipt elliptical tool. I'm going to delete. Uh, i got to rasterize this first. And then I'm going to delete. And that's what it's going to do. It's going to give me this nice uh, edge. It's going to give me these little curves at the end of each edge and it's kind of cool looking. Again, I should have took more time on this, but it's okay. Just to give you guys a general idea of how to make a poster design. And then add, make it screen. So it just shows um, the black pretty much is see-through now. So you can see the font on the other side and the picture as well. So now that's it. Now you just made a poster. Um, please subscribe, and again, I really appreciate you guys watching my videos. Until next time, I'll see you guys then.